I welcome you on behalf of all the 37 officer trainees of YUW 59 course. Sir, um, uh, as you are aware that we were on the track to Tamil Nadu and to okay. for a uh, five day track. So, we are here to present you uh, and share our experience with you that we had on the track. So, I invite um, group one. And it's I am very pretty much happy to share that the image that we have put on the first page won the first prize in the photo exhibition that took place this morning. I would like to start with the basic overview of the trek. For I feel that for most of us it was a unique experience that we might that we'll be cherishing for a lifetime. We were able to cover most of the terrains of the trek. The first trek from Parcel Valley to Pandyar covered various aspects. We moved through valleys, then we also came across dam and then went through the dense forest. And the next two treks provided us quite scenic views. We were roaming through the tea gardens and we were mostly climbing down the hill. And the different experience was that we were going through these harsh terrains. However, we were carrying our full luggage. Some of us had weight of over 20 kgs, but that eventually helped us in checking our endurance. These are the few moments that I would say we would remember for a long time. Firstly, we, on the day when we went to the Mudumalai Tiger Reserve, it was raining briskly, so we were able to spot a herd of elephants and bisons were also back there. So we were able to see them quite near. Then the most frightening experience was our encounter with a wild elephant. That incident will be narrated in the following lectures, following slides. And in our stay near Pandyar, we were able to spot pug marks of the tigers and more indications that tiger were present there two, three days ago. And the majestic view of tea gardens was something new to all of us and we were very lucky to see them. And while our stay in Solur, we got quite acquainted with the villagers, so we had a good volleyball match with them, which we played quite for some time. So that was a nice experience. Now, next thing will be covered by Isse Khan. Good afternoon, respected ma'am and sir and notice. Uh, our itinerary, uh, where we first start to, from early morning at 5 a.m. from the Godavari blog of Dr. M. C. R. H. R. D. Hyderabad. We go to the airport and uh, from by air we reached at uh, Coimbatore. Uh, from Coimbatore uh, by uh, road uh, we reached at Uti and we all received and uh, uh, there are welcome drink and uh, lunch uh, is served. And after lunch, uh, forest officer came and briefing about the our tracks and. Uh, after uh, briefing, we start to uh, in our groups uh, uh, from Uti to uh, first group going to Parson Valley, where we uh, night stay and for dinner and, uh, and early morning we after uh, breakfast we start our journey uh, for Pandya and that is the distance between them is the 19 kilometer and we reach that Pandya and welcome drink is uh, again provided and uh, night stay there and from uh, next morning we start the journey from Pandya to uh, Nadu Watam and uh, this was an amazing journey uh, between them and uh, from next day early morning we start from the Naduvatam to uh, Tepakadu and the distance between uh, the two is 14 kilometers and uh, next day we start our journey from the Tepakadu, Tepakadu to uh, Solur and that is the uh, toughest I think uh, because it's a uh, slopey and uh, upward and that is the tough one. Uh, at Solur we reached and from last day of, of uh, that is the fifth day and we start uh, uh, in the early morning uh, from Solur to Parson Valley uh, that is the last and uh, we uh, in the meanwhile we received uh, by the vehicles and we get back from Parson Valley to Uti and uh, from Uti uh, we uh, going to Coimtur and by fly air uh, we reached at Hyderabad and that's our ending. Now I would like uh, me, uh, me and Ajit will cover uh, day, day one, uh, day one uh, track cover from Parsan Valley to Pandya Valley. Shaam ko day zero ke, Shaam ko Parsan Valley pahunche, waan pe jo, uh, jo volunteer the honna receive kiya, aur waan pe kis type ka, wo area kis type forest waan pe hai, wo na hume bataya. Aur phir uske baad humne, humne raat uh, plan kiya ki hum sab saare saab, saab bolje kari waan se start karenge to uh, Parsan Valley to Pandya, but uh, as usual, thoda late ho gaya hume. 
उसी कारण हम अप्रोक्सीमेट सवार के लिए हमने स्टार्ट वहाँ किया तो स्टार्टिंग में जो टेरेन था वो थोड़ा जो रोड था वो कच्चा रोड टाइप का था मड़ी रोड टाइप का था एस एस ने स्टार्ट इनटू फॉरेस्ट हमने एक ग्रुप ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ डियर वहाँ पे स्पोर्ट किया जैसे हम ग्रुप ऑफ डियर स्पोर्ट किया उसके बाद से जो फॉरेस्ट गार्ड थे उन्होंने हमें बताया कि यहाँ से आपको आपकी आवाज कम करनी है ताकि आप और वाइल्ड लाइफ देख सकें तो उसके बाद जो वहाँ पर जो फॉरेस्ट में जो टेरेन था वो काफी ऊपर कभी नीचे था तो उसके कारण हमारे पास काफी लगेज था तो शुरू से ही हमें पता था वैसे 19 किलोमीटर का ट्रैक है पर शुरू से हमें काफी थकान टाइप का फील हो रहा था और उस जो पार्टनर वेल्थ पांडा का ट्रैक है उसमें हमने जो फॉरेस्ट गार्ड ने बताया कि कुछ दिन पहले इस एरिया में टाइगर स्पोर्ट किया गया और वाइल्ड लाइफ काफी स्पोर्ट की गई है वहाँ पे गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून सर आई एम अजीत सिंह I was the RDS of our group. I was the red teacher mining step. I was the last one in my group. I generally walk with the last ST of person. I was walking like this. He was walking like this. It was tremendous for me. It was good to be started from Parson Valley to Pandya because it was a diff one of the difficult trek in the whole five day. And we are we started from Parson Valley. To Pandya, we were quite enthusiastic. So it will it get it become easy for us because if 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 अगर फॉरेस्ट गार्ड टोल्ड अस इट इज बी वेरी रिसेंट देन मतलब वो मस्ती भी कर रहे थे हम लोगों को थोड़ा सा उल्टा सीधा भी बताते थे तो बोले नहीं एटलीस्ट एट टू टेन डेज पहले का है और वहाँ पे हम लोगों ने वो भी देखा था कि जो टाइगर हंट करता है तो उसके बाद जो कल बचते हैं तो वो एक दो जगह थे मतलब इट वॉज डेफिनेटली श्योर कि यहाँ टाइगर है बट हमें दिख देखने को वो नहीं मिला हम लोग जो पानी लेकर चले थे ट्रैक बहुत लंबा था सभी लोग दो दो लीटर पानी लेकर चल रहे थे वो शुरुआत की दो तीन घंटे में खत्म हो चुका था सब खाली बोतल लेके घूम रहे थे और बीच जंगल में कहीं सब पानी के वाटरफॉल से हमने पानी लिया पानी बहुत मड़ी था लेकिन इट वाइज लाइक का अमृत फॉर मी इन बिटवीन मुकुर्ति डैम आया था सर वो वहाँ पे हमें लंच करना था सर लेकिन फॉरेस्ट गार्ड सर बहुत ही डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप के पर्सन थे वो नहीं चाहते थे हम यहाँ लंच ले वो खुद का प्लान लेकर आए थे इनको नहीं यहाँ नहीं वहाँ लंच कराएंगे तो हमको बोले यहाँ से आगे चलो बस एक किलोमीटर के बाद आपको बढ़िया सा सीनी क्यों मिलेगा लंच करने का उसके बाद सर हम ढाई घंटे तक ट्रैवल किए और कोई सीनी क्यों नहीं आया <laughs> सर इस जगह पे हवा इतनी तेज थी कि मैं एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकता और सर ये जो पर्सन है ये है अनुपम इसकी टोपी उड़ गई और बेचारा अपनी टोपी को देख रहा है <laughs> सर बहुत सारे फ्लोरा फोना थे लेकिन हम लोग बहुत सारा इसलिए नहीं देख पाए क्योंकि हम लोग एक लाइन से चल रहे थे फॉरेस्ट गार्ड आगे पीछे थे लेकिन दो तीन जगह मुझे अच्छा लगा तो हमने उन फोटोज को लिया है वो पाइन फॉरेस्ट है सर और ये रोडो डेंड्राउंड पुरान जिसे हिंदी में बोलते हैं सर ये हमने एक जगह वहाँ पे देखा था इसके आगे सर पांड्या टू नाडू अट्टम मेरे बाकी फ्रेंड्स एक्सप्लेन करें गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून मैम मी एंड पूजा रिपीट टेकिंग टॉकिंग अबाउट द डे टू एंड डे टू वी रीच At night we reached to Pandya. The the first day was very very tough for us because it was around 20 kilometers, and uh, all of us was taking first time. So we were enthusiastic as well as we were also tired. We slept. We we did some fun till I think 12 or 1 a.m. late night, and uh, uh, they are definitely they are very um, some very. Uh, Good memories of night stay. Then we we started on the day two morning around 8:30. So the first question with the forest ranger was, "ये जो आज वाला track है वो पिछले वाले दिन से कितना अच्छा है? ये tough है या या मतलब कल से ज़्यादा अच्छा है?" So as usual, they will always say, "Very very easy, very easy. You can do, you can pass it only. You can you you will see only." Uh, you can hardly it will hardly take two or three hours, but eventually it took around four to five hours. So day two, uh, 
in the evening, uh, day for, for in, in the first day evening, uh, as usual, the medical checkup was there, and uh, as you can see in the next plate, uh, the Pandyar guest forest guest house was inaugurated on 1966, and this uh, the right left corner it is a mess. Uh, canteen where we had l um, dinner and breakfast. So in the early morning, uh, I will not say early morning, we started 8.30 uh, to our destination Aduvattam. So we had a lot of enthusiasm, but uh, as usual, ek dimag mein ye tha ki next so we, we started very happily. Uh, the first thing we got after traveling, uh, after traveling around one or two kilometer, we got the internet. So everyone started calling our parents or Belvisas. So this was the scene uh, when we reached at one of the hilltop. Uh, at the same time, we had some observations uh, when we were going towards Naduvattam. The first observation I can say is we had, we saw a very majestic tea gardens. Everywhere it was very lush green and uh, uh, very amazing scenic beauty. And I, I, we, we also read in the internet that those gardens have a lot of leeches. So we, we avoided going into the uh, tea gardens even the, in the second day. And the second observation we had that there were some monkeys, deers. We, we spotted one of Sambar deer, but when we uh, approached to take take the photo, suddenly uh, the, the deer ran away. And we also had this monkey, uh, macaque. Some of our friends clicked those pics. And uh, when we were uh, going towards one of the climbing slope, we spotted some of our uh, Cows, uh, they were uh, very native to that place because I have never seen such kind of cows in uh, North India. And the next will be taken by them. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, this trek was much better experience for me. This was the first trek which I uh, traveled with these awesome people. So this was a great trip for me. So day two, during this, during this day, when we, uh, during half when we destination covered our half destination, then we spot a temple where we stay and uh, some some good pictures we taken there and some forest boundary there, so some forest change change it, so they change and some other forest guard uh, allotted to us. Then we finally climbed a steep hill and we took some rest. But forest guard did not allow, you can't take rest for 10 minutes also, you can't take uh, food also. So we frustrated here. After we again uh, moving down and take some food without uh, without washing hand, without any water, we but think it was a great experience. And then we climbed moving down. And this, when we reach Nadu Attam, we got an awesome space, well, a full space, full network, people started calling, video calls, so it was a great uh, place for us. And at, uh, at evening, we reached at the terrace and the terrace view was all good and we, started, we saw the people, children are playing there. This is the scenery beauty from top, top view. And uh, we, we, we went to the town. So uh, by seeing Ajay picture, we can see we were so hungry there. <laughs> and this is the view from town. And we started day third. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. I will start from the Nadu Hotel. First of all, I would like to share my uh, over trekking experience. Ma'am, I come from Himalayan state. So in the starting, I was a little bit disappointed that we are going to take From the starting, the very first day of MCHRD, I will try to take to the Himalayas. So, but when we were in the Nili, it was very good. It was very disappointing that we were in the Himalayas. Then I felt that I could never see the Himalayas. If I didn't come here, I would miss this beauty. Ma'am, Nadu Uttam is a very good town. Its elevation is 1940, 140 meters. The view of the vegetation, मैं उसको 
प्योरली मैं अपने घर से कर पा रहा था कोल्ड रिलीट क्योंकि मैम मेरे गाँव का एलिवेशन भी बाईस सौ मीटर के आसपास है तो जो पाइन ट्री है जो व्यू है ऑलमोस्ट मैम इवन जो सरप्स है और लोकल वेजिटेशन मैम उनका मेरे को साइंटिफिक नेम पता नहीं है बट मैं उनको मैम मेरे को फील हो रहा था कि मैं अपने जो गांव का जंगल है उसमें ही घूम रहा हूँ और मैम ये बिल्डिंग जो है दिस इज कम्युनिटी हॉल इसमें हमारा स्टे हुआ था स्टे वॉज क्वाइट गुड बिल्डिंग के सामने एक फुटबॉल ग्राउंड था वहाँ पे लोकल जो लड़के हैं वो फुटबॉल खेल रहे थे ये उनमें से एक लड़का है सर बहुत ही अच्छा फुटबॉल खेल रहा था और मैम ये कम्युनिटी हॉल के छत से पीछे का व्यू पॉइंट है जो फर्स्ट पिक्चर है अगले दिन हम थोड़ा लेट हो गए हम उठने में तो जो है ऑलरेडी जो है धूप आ चुकी थी अराउंड नौ दस बजे हम उनको मैम निकल गए और ऑलरेडी हम फर्स्ट डे जो था पंडार वैली से नटोटम टी स्टेट्स होते हुए आए थे और फिर से अगले दिन मैम हमको जब नटोटम से थपक काट हुई गए तो वो रास्ता भी मेनली टी स्टेट से कवर था ये मैम हमारे साथ अजय शर्मा इनको बहुत सारे फोटो खिंचाने का फोटो डाली है मैम जो पूरा स्ट्रेस था मेनली टी फॉरेस्ट जो टी स्टेट है उससे होते हुए गया ये लेडीज हैं जो काम कर रही थी टी फॉर्म्स फॉर्म्स में और मैम एक बहुत ही पैकेज चीज़ जो मेरे को अच्छी लगी जो इरीगेशन सिस्टम है टी स्टेट में बहुत ही एडवांस इरीगेशन सिस्टम है दे आर यूजिंग द स्प्रिंकल स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन सिस्टम इसमें मैम बहुत ही हाई एफिशेंसी होती है इरीगेशन की वाटर लॉस बहुत कम होते हैं ये मैम मेरे को बहुत अच्छा लगा मैम हम तो भी हमें हमार हम कोई फॉरेस्ट वाचर कंपनी कर रहे थे इनका नाम सिबली हम है वो जो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड फनी पर्सन उन्होंने हमें काफ़ी तमिल जो वर्ड है वो सिखाया और तो हम उनमें से बहुत सारे घुस चुके हैं एक वर्ड जो मुझे याद है ये ओंगो पेरी अन्ना या समथिंग लाइक डैट इसका मतलब होता है कि वॉट इज योर नेम तो ये वॉज सिंग अंत रजनीकांत हीज एज इज फिफ्टी सिक्स बट वज वी वज फिटर देन ऑल ऑफ एस और उसने लगभग हम हमारे हर किसी के साथ सर मैम दोनों को हरा दिया था और रास्ते में मैम हमें एक एक्स एम पी थे उनका फार्म हाउस मिला जो बहुत ही अच्छा था ऑल दो हमें वहाँ पर ज़्यादा स्टे नहीं करने दिया गया क्योंकि बोला कि निकलो बस आने वाले उनके साथ और ये हम सामने से ब्रुक सिल का व्यू था जो बहुत अच्छा है ये हम अगेन जो है सेमेस्टर फार्म हाउस वहाँ मैंने का फोटोग्राफी की गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर दैट जो जैम्स कह रहा था मैम कि ही वॉज वेरी फ्राइट एंड वो नीलगिरी जा रहे तो वहाँ पे हम लोगों ने जेम्स के काफ़ी मजे भी लिए मैम एक्चुअली ये जेम्स अजीत के साथ ही था कभी कभी पीछे चल रहा था तो हम लोग काफ़ी जेम्स के मजे ले रहे थे कि भाई आप यहाँ तो चल नहीं पा रहे हिमालयस कैसे जाते मैम डे थ्री हमारा जो था नाडू बटन से थे पिकाडू जा रहे थे तो हम लोगों ने काफ़ी टी गार्डन्स देखे काफ़ी ट्रीज देखे और ये एक उन्हीं में से एक चार फोटोज हमने निकाले जिसमें हम लोगों ने जंगल जंगल्स देखे काफ़ी ट्रीज हम लोगों को देखे डेंस फॉरेस्ट था तो हम लोगों को काफ़ी अच्छा लगा मतलब हम लोग फ्लैट एरिया से आते हैं तो वहाँ पर ज़्यादा ट्रीज होते नहीं हैं तो हम लोगों को काफ़ी अच्छा लगा ये चीज़ जिसमें हम लोगों ने जेक फ्रूट देखा पाइन फोर पाइन ट्रीज देखे कोकोनट ट्रीज भी हम लोगों ने देखे फ्रॉम नाडू बटन टू तेपे गाड़ू ये हम यहाँ हम लोग मतलब ये ये जो फोटो है मैम फर्स्ट फोटो एंड सेकेंड फोटो ये हम लोग अराउंड वन थर्टी के अराउंड का फोटो है जब हम लोग काफ़ी थक चुके थे और हम लोग वेट कर रहे थे कि कब हम लोगों को लंच करने को मिल जाए जैसे कि हम लोग बाकी लोगों ने बताया कि जो फॉरेस्ट गाइड्स है वो हम लोगों को लंच करने से मना कर रहे थे बेसिकली उनका एक टारगेट था कि हम लोग को इस टाइम पर यहाँ पहुँचना है तो वो टारगेट के लिए उन्होंने काफ़ी हम लोगों को लंच के लिए रोका हुआ था इसलिए ये जो हम लोग लिखे हुए हैं ये हमने लिखा हुआ था मच अवेटेड लंच ये इसीलिए लिखा हुआ है क्योंकि हम लोग काफ़ी भूगे थे और थक चुके थे यहाँ तक आते आते इसमें देख सकते हैं आप ये फर्स्ट फोटो हम लोगों ने जो लिया है ये वही एक्स के जो फार्म हाउस था वहाँ से लिया है वहाँ पर एक लेक था तो वो फोटो इसलिए लिया गया है क्योंकि बाकी तो फोटोज़ को एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं वो फोटो 
पशुओं ने इसके काफी गर्मी हम लोगों को थी वहाँ पे गर्मी फील हो रही थी क्योंकि हम लोग दो बच्चे दो बच्चे का था वहाँ लंच जब हम लंच करने पहुंचे तब तक तो सेकेंड फोटोग्राफ में अजीत एंड शैलेंद्र है अजीत इज लाइक कि बस अब नहीं चला जा रहे हैं मुझसे अब नहीं चला जा रहे और ये वाला था सेकेंड फोटो थर्ड फोटोग्राफ जो है वो हमारा ग्रुप फोटो है जिसमें हम लोग थक गए थे आखिर में बैठ गए हम लोग और यहाँ पर हम लोग शिवलिंगम के साथ काफ़ी मस्ती किए जो हमारे फॉरेस्ट गाइड गाइड थे जैसे कि मैंने बताया मैम आपको कि हम लोग जब थेपे गाड़ू जा रहे थे तो हम लोग को काफ़ी फॉरेस्ट मिला मिले जिसमें कोकोनट ट्रीज पाइन फॉरेस्ट हम लोग को मिले ये विलेज सेकेंड फोटो में जो विलेज है हम हम लोगों को लगा कि हम लोग हमारी लोकेशन पर पहुंच गए बट यहाँ से भी विलेज जो जो हमारी लोकेशन थी जहाँ हमें पहुँचना था वो अराउंड टू टू थ्री किलोमीटर्स यहाँ से था इस विलेज से ये विलेज काफ़ी अच्छा था सर यहाँ पे मतलब हम लोगों को लग रहा था कि कुछ फार्म हाउस टाइप के बिल्डिंग्स बनी हुई हैं थर्ड फोटोग्राफ में पूजा जो है मैम पूजा वॉज लाइक बस सर दो मिनट बस सर दो मिनट बट मैम यहाँ मैं क्लियर करना चाहता हूँ ये सिर्फ और फन के लिए डाला हुआ है पूजा ने काफ़ी मतलब आ, एनर्जी दिखाई हमेशा आगे होती थी और पूजा के कारण हम लोगों को काफ़ी एनर्जी मिली हम लोग काफ़ी जो है एंथुजियास्टिक थे पूजा के कारण और बाकी ऑफ ट्रैक हम लोगों ने काफ़ी मस्ती की रात में हम लोग मस्ती करते थे रात को एक ही बजे तक जगते थे सुबह फिर छः बजे साढ़े छः बजे उठ करके जग करके वापस ट्रैक के लिए जाना होता था आ, ये ये लोकेशन हम लोग फाइनली जब पहुँचे मधुलाई टाइगर रिजर्व चेक पॉइंट था हमारा जहाँ हम लोगों को पहुँचना था जहाँ से हम लोग को एक व्हीकल लेकर के जाने वाला था और ऑन द वे जब हम लोग चेक पॉइंट से हमारे फॉरेस्ट गेस्ट हाउस तक पहुँचने वाले थे तो उस बीच में हम लोगों को काफ़ी टाइगर्स काफ़ी एलिफेंट्स मिले हम लोगों ने एक हमारे पैरेलल रोड के पैरेलल एक जो है स्ट्रीम जा रही थी जो हम लोगों को काफ़ी उसमें हम लोग काफ़ी व्यूज़ हम लोगों ने देखे तो वहाँ पर हम लोग को एलिफेंट्स मंकीस बाइसन्स ये सब देखे और जब हम लोग थे पे गाड़ू पहुँच गए तो दो सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट जो मधुबलाई टाइगर रिजर्व जो कि जिसकी हम लोगों ने सफारी किया करीब करीब एक से डेढ़ घंटा हम लोग कहाँ घूमे तो काफ़ी एनिमल्स हम लोगों ने देखे काफ़ी सीनिक ब्यूटी थी वहाँ पर सर हम लोगों ने डियर्स सांबर्स एलिफेंट्स बाइसन्स वगैरह कभी देखे मंकी थे वल्चर थे ईगल्स थे फोटोग्राफ्स हैं नहीं सर हमारे पास तो थे बट लगा नहीं पैसे तो ये काफ़ी अच्छा था सर एक्सपीरियंस बस अनफॉर्चुनेटली हम लोग टाइगर नहीं देख पाए बाकी मधुबले टाइगर रिजर्व जो हम लोग पूरा दिन भर की थकान के बाद जब हम लोग टाइगर रिजर्व पहुँचे टाइगर सफारी किया तो काफ़ी अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस था और हमारी थकान सारी उतर गई थी ग्रुप लीडर यू हैव फाइव मिनट्स मोर नेक्स्ट वीक प्रेजेंटेड बाय अजीत कृपागढ़ को शोरूम का फेस ट्रैक बता रहे थे स्पोकन रिपोर्टेशन इसकी काफी हाई थी ग्रुप 1 एंड ग्रुप 2 ने ये पहले कंप्लीट कर लिया था तो जब हम हम लोग भी उनसे बात हो रही थी तो वो लोग बोल रहे थे कि दिस इज अ टफ फेस ट्रैक बिकॉज़ द स्लोप इज वेरी हाई एंड द एससीएफ एंड वन रक्षक सर आल्सो सेइंग द सेम सो वी वर वेरी फ्राइटेंड अबाउट दैट सो वी विजिटेड द टेंपल व्हिच वाज जस्ट डाउन साइड ऑफ द हिल एंड वी स्टार्टेड आवर ट्रैक विद आवर मोरल साइड Uh, but uh, just when we started uh, we faced this encounter with elephant uh, we we got very frightened uh, this was a wild elephant and uh, when we were uh, going through uh, the scs and vandakshas uh, asked us to stop uh, we were worried what happened whatever then jab wo kuch bol pate usse pehle we heard a sound a very loud sound so it was a footsteps of uh, elephant and uh, Uh, we were we got frightened the scs asked us to step uh, step back a bit so that they can uh, they can guide uh, this uh, animal to his way so we can continue uh, sir ma'am there is one video which i would like to show Th- there is one video in which uh, the vandaksha guided the elephant to go its way and we could uh, continue our trek basically he made some sound with talwar uh, uh, or something like that weird so uh, but uh, the elephant ran very fast which was very uh, abnormal for us to see and we saw that it was a very frightening experience and to one one experience to remember for our life and these are the pictures of midwan actually uh, the trek was very steep and the weather was also not good and the like area was fully dry so we we had exhausted our waters and we were fully exhausted so these these are these are the pictures which are showing the same that we we were not in a good state at and uh, finally we found some water body in midway uh, it was basically a river or uh, watershed whatever we call that so we filled our water bottles uh, uh, dr tribhuda sir had uh, like advised us not to use but we had no other option and as we had exhausted our water so we filled our water bottles and drank some water it was good water then these were the heavy passes after we drank our water and 
took some rest and we were ready for our next part also. So this is a picture like we had rested but trek abhi bhi baki tha. So we started again and after after completing there is one more video of like Isse Khan one of our member. Uh, this video will show like how we felt. Okay, we'll skip. We'll show this also later. But uh, because uh, there was one image of this trek, so we pushed ourselves. So we so we were able to complete this trek in three hours only, okay, which was which was very less. Now uh, after reaching there, we uh, rested for a bit and again started in the evening. There was one viewpoint where uh, one movie was shot one day before we reached. So we we went there. And in the uh, in the way of going there, there was there were many uh, people playing uh, volleyball. So we also joined there. Also we played very poorly, but we enjoyed that. We lost the game very. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Varun Mina. And uh, we have started our day five. So no two persons really. We started early and heading towards our final destination. Uh, we are in hurry to complete, but we also want to enjoy that trip. So we have come across. Uh, different different landscapes. Uh, let's say these are the solar forest mountains. Uh, solar forest simply is a solar local name uh, given in Tamil Nadu. So tropical mountain forest. Uh, uh, tropical mountain forest. And uh, before that we have travelled in road. In this way we have travelled in kacha rasta. After that we have come across a uh, grasslands. That is totally a different landscape. No vegetation was there, no wild fauna we have seen here. And uh, after that, we got to learn many things from forest officials, and uh, that would be covered by Anko. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. जैसे कि सभी ने बताया मैं तो उतना ज़्यादा कुछ बोलूँगा नहीं पर जेम्स जेम्स की तरह मेरा भी ऐसी फीलिंग था क्योंकि मैं इससे पहले ढाई साल बिहारों में काम कर चुका था तो मुझे लग रहा था कि यहाँ पे क्या देखने को मिलेगा तो पर हिमालयस जैसा नहीं है पर उससे उसका अलग है इसका अलग है तो एक तो हम लोग बहुत खुश थे आखिरी दिन हमारा अठारह किलोमीटर से दस किलोमीटर ट्रैक करना था तो तो मैं चाह रहा था कि आज फुल इंजॉय करते हैं तो तो बेसिकली मैंने जो वहाँ का मुझे अच्छा लगता है कि वहाँ का लोकल कल्चर कल्चर है जैसे कि फॉरेस्ट गार्ड है उन उनको क्या डिफिकल्टीज होता है उनका छुट्टी कैसे रहता है तो मैं ज़्यादातर उन उन्हीं के साथ लास्ट में उनका कैसे छुट्टी चल रहा है उन्हीं लोगों से बात करते हैं वो करते हैं कब दस किलोमीटर पार हुआ हमें पता ही नहीं चला और साथ में मैं पूजा का बहुत उसका कंट्रीब्यूशन बोलना चाहूँगा जिस तरह मतलब कोई लड़का से ज़्यादा ही स्पीड में चल रही थी मोस्टली हमारा ग्रुप में जितना भी लड़का था उससे आगे ही चल रही थी तो उसको देख के बहुत अच्छा लगा और ओवरऑल ट्रैक तो बहुत अच्छा था और यही है कि ये जर्नी तो मतलब जो बोलते हैं ना डेस्टिनेशन है ये वी शुड इंजॉय द डेस्टिनेशन जर्नी नॉट द डेस्टिनेशन थैंक यू थैंक यू रफन सर रफन मैम आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यूर डे इन ओटी आफ्टर कमिंग फ्रॉम हंगर पॉइंट यू आर स्टेड इन ओटी फॉर अ नाइट एंड देन वी वर टेकन टू विलिंगटन विच इज़ अ वेरी प्रस्टीजियस कॉलेज वी वेर Uh, made to visit uh, two halls, two very big, very uh, grand hall, uh, Mullan, and uh, then we went to a museum. Uh, then we went to Sardar Patel uh, Museum, and we, we so this photo is from Sardar Patel Museum in front of it. And after coming from Wellington, we uh, we went to we were taken to Dud, uh, Dudda Bitta Peak, which is second highest peak in uh, uh, Nilgiri's uh, Western Western Ghats. Uh, the this view. I mean, it's not very clear in the photo, but uh, the view was like the whole Uti can be seen from Dudda Bitta Peak, which is very awesome. So our learnings from this trek, which is very important, after five days, what we have learned. So the first is appreciate the beauty of the nature. Like we live in metros, and uh, I'm coming from Delhi. I'm staying in I'm staying in Pune. I'm I'm staying in Hyderabad. So uh, we kind of have a distance from. From the nature, and we really got to see the true beauty in its true color uh, of Nilgiris. So uh, this uh, this trek gave, gave us an opportunity. The second is confidence booster. You can see Ajit in the pic again. Uh, we never expected that he can cover like 19 kilometers in a day, the first day, uh, which is 
very difficult for people like us also. But he did that. We kept pushing him, and uh, there we saw the team teamwork. Some uh, in some part of the trek, I was with Ajit. In other parts, Shailendra was with Ajit. In some part, Ajay was with him. So one person was always behind him. We kept pushing him. We kept motivating him. So we moved like a team throughout the trek. This was not on, on the first day. In all the days, this has happened. And uh, the group was very good, but there were times when it became very difficult to handle them. <laughs> so it always comes like the most difficult thing was uh, keeping them silent. And uh, second was uh, getting up early in the morning. We never left uh, our stay point before 8. Oh, we always thought that we'd leave at 7.30, but that was the thing. Uh, so everyone has a, di a different mindset. Everyone like, uh, I wanted to keep them silent. Everyone wanted to be silent, but if we are silent, who will motivate the group? So saying something, making noises, kept motivating everyone, and that's how we moved. Trekking uh, is a form of meditation. Uh, there is single point of concentration and that is to reach the destination. Uh, that we uh, realized when we were walking through Shalur. Uh, we knew the mountain was, mountain are so steep, we could see it, and but we still thought we can do it. And we had only one target in our mind and that is to reach the top, to reach the destination. Uh, realize the paramount things in life. Uh, when we are cut off from the network, we had our group, the 12 members, and the stories behind it. We have spent enormous amount of time getting to know each other, getting to know their stories, some horror stories in the night, with the bonfire. <laughs> so many new things, many new important things came, came to us. We realized the basic necessities are very simple. We just need to have water, we just need to have some sleeping bed. Nothing, uh, nothing else is uh, uh, more valuable than that. So when uh, when we are when we are made to challenge ourselves, we get to learn new things, and that we have done. And the last is feeling of gratitude. Uh, these STF persons were throughout night and day. They were with us. I remember in Naduvattam, uh, they were made to stay like just 20 meters away from us, and they were not ready to ready to go there in the night. They thought that if something happens, we we will have to move here, and that will take some time. So that's the kind of service they gave us, and. Uh, I mean, uh, there is no feeling uh, to describe their gratitude, our gratitude towards them, a small present for them, and we got a very heartful message from them, uh, them that this is not a present, this is a memory. This is a memory for us. So, uh, this was our learnings, like, some small things also matter. Some feedback, uh, the trek could have been more challenging. Yes, uh, so these are the feedbacks. Thank you. Then you could have mentioned uh, the, about the briefing, what the DFO told you, what the medical people told you, there is no mention of that. And you didn't mention uh, where you are staying in each camp. Narvottam mein kya tha? What was the building? In Pandya, in the Parsons Valley, in Sholur, what was the facility there? Community hall tha, some places it was a forest guest house, so you could have uh, mentioned something about that. Then you didn't tell anything about your lunch. You said we had lunch. What kind of lunch you had? No, it was packed lunch, na? That you could have told. Something about YHAI volunteers and the STF. How many STF? How many guides? See, each camp had a different YHAI volunteer. Aap to unke baare mein kuch bataye nahi. They were veteran trekkers in Parsons Valley. You must have met Mr. Lakshminarana or someone. He went to Everest Base Camp. Did he tell you that? Yes, sir. You didn't bother to find out who they were. You thought they were only service providers. No, no, no. They have seen so many batches like you. They also trekked in the Himalayas. So you people never bother to ask about them. That was their complaint. They said we were not given the you know, regard we deserve. You thought they were just like catering company. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, good presentation. I am very glad about your team because all of you trek. All 12 of you trek. 
and I want to mention about Pooja also. As you all said, she is very dynamic and she was the only one who didn't complain about the dinner on the 8th. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Group number two. First of all, Anai Varekum Malai Vanakam. This means good evening to all in Tamil. And this I learned from the two STF person. And in the briefing session, Ekbote sir told us that when you go to the Himal uh, Nilgiri track, then you should try to learn some uh, Tamil words. They said they told many words, but this is the word that I remember. And uh, this is the this is our group number two and I welcome Sri Devi Ma'am, Kota Tripathya Sir and Ekote Sir. It's our blessing to go to trek to Nilgiri. Uh, it is generally called as it is generally called as the Queen of Hills. Uh, this is our group and uh, we start our trek from Pandya and finish to Mugurti Dam and then vehicle came and we go to Uti uh, and after uh, uh, on Saturday, uh, we went to the Defence Service Staff College, Wellington. It was a whole uh, wonderful experience, adventure, uh, adventure, and we make a lot of stories, memories, and many other things. Um, first of all, I want to thank MCR, Dr. M C R HRD for arranging this trek, uh, by which we can uh, get this uh, one in a lifetime experience, uh, which will remember for all of our time. After that, uh, I want to thank the YHEI persons and the YHEI members. So, which uh, take care of us at every station and uh, they understand our problems. In some stations we are satisfied, most of the stations we are satisfied, even only Thipa uh, Kaldu, there are some issues in the uh, food quality, I told in the defeating sessions. And, uh, the, uh, and most I want to thanks to the STF persons that they remain with us all the times and the forest rangers uh, which guide us how we go and how we proceed to and any animals come then how we have to react. So uh, this is the one of the best experience and for this track we have to undergo PT for the last three months for this we have to wake up uh, 6 in the am and this is totally worthwhile and this check our physical as well as mental caliber and due to the track it developed the teamwork and the coordination ability between us we get to know each other very well and this is the one of the learning experience that we will remember uh, in our whole life and all thanks to all of the party there are no single stakeholders there are many stakeholders i want to thank everybody uh, so our group consists of 13 members uh, regularly 11 ot's and two escape persons on a daily basis, two forest rangers come and they uh, keep on uh, changing uh, different different checkpoints. And uh, I am the group leader, Aman Gupta. Mr. Chirag Goyal is the assistant group leader. And uh, we are blessed to have uh, two seniors in our group, Vega uh, Kodar sir and Ankit Sharma sir, which guide us uh, and uh, uh, by which we complete the track. And I want to thank all my group members for successfully completing the track. Each of them could do their part. And, uh, and in, in any time, uh, some person have some good capabilities. So each of them, uh, each of us uh, helps, and it is our, uh, and we make lot of memories together. So all things to my Due to this, uh, I am not possible to lead. So all of us do it a very nice job. And uh, this is the main one. And want to thank the two state person, the Mr. Sargunanji and Mr. Prem Nazi, which remains all of us. And uh, some of the experience we will tell later. And uh, first of all, we start uh, our journey on the 3rd April uh, from the Hyderabad, uh, reach to the Coimbatore via flight and uh, to the UT around 2 pm. Uh, then we go to the UT collector house uh, for the briefing sessions. In the briefing sessions, uh, Ekote sir, DFO and medical officers and forest rangers and some uh, many other officers came on the Sunday and we are thankful for that, that they uh, take out their precious time to brief us. And in this session, uh, the DFO talk about what to do, what to not to do, uh, some information about each camps that uh, he, uh, he told that in the Pandya you don't get any network and it is the uh, and, uh, and, and some other things that you have to get wildlife you have to take care the medical officer uh, told us about the that uh, medical people will come every day and uh, and they treat us every day and they came and we are very blessed by them 
so uh, and this is the photo of the uh, collector office of the uh, OT and we are very amazed by the ambience and beauty of this office and the outside beauty so uh, and this is the deer and this many other animals are placed like this so uh, this experience we uh, always remember at the debriefing time uh, we after completing the trip i also uh, we also came as a group in the same place and uh, i gave the summary of the trek and, uh, uh, and after that uh, in that portion uh, and in that part uh, the mcr face felicitates all the forest rangers and uh, officers tfo and uh, many others who involved in the successful completion of the trek so this is the google map of our trek we start from the pandyar valley and uh, which is the uh, which is the second highest uh, and uh, where we get the clear cut night sky we spotted the many of the constellation and then we go from pandyar to naduvattam in a nutshell i want to tell then naduvattam to thepagadu then thepagadu to solur valley solur valley to parshan valley then mukutti dam and we will remember this trek for, for our lifetime so next part is uh, con uh, i am co con covering the briefing and debriefing part next part is covered by good evening ma'am and good evening sirs i am babna sponda and i'll be talking about the pandyar to nadu vattam trip the trek which we did on the first day so we were around 10 we were 10 hotis and we had two stfs and two forest rangers along the trek route um, in our group in amongst the 10 hotis mostly there were people there were hotis who were doing the trek for the first time they were from the uh, plains or from the towns so uh, it was quite exciting and they were too anxious in fact we all were very anxious to undertake this trek how will it be what all facilities what all will be the routes what all the landscape will be seen so it was too exciting for us to start the trek so finally we started the trek at around 7:30 in the morning and uh, we started at a mean sea level of 2253 which is at pandyar and we landed at 1:30 around uh, 1:30 pm at naduvattam which is at a msl of 1953 so we descended 300 meters for and we took around 6 hours to traverse a distance of 11 plus kilometers the distance was rocky slippery at there was a slippery terrain at places it was mountainous at places at few places it was plainer and we had to walk on the roads the route goes through mostly well laid roads and the tea gardens towards the end of the 4 to 5 kilometers of that trek uh, it was completely covered with the tea gardens we encounter sambar wild squirrels monkeys and in front of the neduvattam campsite we uh, had a community hall and an extensive ground with lush green grass that can be seen there next ashok will be speaking about more about the trek route and what all we witnessed during the route okay good morning ma'am sir and all guys i will talk about the experience that we had while trekking and while we are about this uh, pandya <coughs> uh, when we are going to uh, pandya to gaya ka so we were very afraid because uh, all of us said there was a steep slope and there was some obstruction on the finally we reached at 6 pm uh, at the pandya and uh, we had put our luggage in the this camp after that we had uh, some teas beans mix and uh, soup and dinner there was no electricity at the pandya location uh, the only source of electricity was the solar panel so we had to complete all our activities uh, by 9 pm and there was no network at this place so when we reached uh, the camp leader leader has briefed about the areas that we in the lc here leopard elephant and deer so whenever you go go with the group not go alone while going to washroom in a at, at any other place and uh, food was best among all the locations at pandya so after taking dinner uh, we had some conversation uh, with the groups uh, and uh, we talked about the uh, bonfire to the camp leader but it was not possible there so we slept around uh, 11 pm and after that we were supposed to wake up at 6 am but we wake up around 7 pm 7 am and we were ready at about 7:30 so we started our trek uh, with 
to a STV personnel and we are, we are all very well noticed. So, in the route, uh, we were affected because uh, we have seen the symbols of that. There is a, there is a tiger or leopard is here. So, uh, in, the, in the track, we have seen so many uh, tea gardens and dense forests. We have seen bisons. Uh, here, Ayush and uh, Mahendra sir uh, were doing some activities that we have taken with the photos. So we have taken so many photographs uh, while uh, we are going to uh, Nadu Vattam because it was the first day of our track. Uh, uh, when we, uh, there was a steep slope in between and also there was a down, downward slope. So when we reached the, at the top of the place, uh, we, there was an effort so all of us started uh, talking to their families and their close ones. After that, uh, we had a conversation with, fem, uh, with uh, female workers who were plugging the tea leaves. Uh, after that, uh, we have reached around uh, 3 p.m. to the Narkottam. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sirs. So, I'm um, Avnish And I and Nankis, sir, will be uh, talking about our experience. So, Papi stay, uh, stay, uh, stay, uh, night stay at Narkottam. And then, from trekking from Narkottam to Tepakadu. So, sir, uh, when we reached uh, Narkottam in the afternoon, uh, this since it was our first day and we walked, we tracked around 11 kilometers and uh, so we all were very tired and uh, we were desperately looking for the rest and uh, so some of, uh, so then uh, when we reached there, uh, some of us uh, went to take bath, some of us uh, slept there and uh, the bathroom there was uh, not in a good condition despite the fact that uh, the one, uh, one group was stayed there last night. But we complained about that and uh, we got it resolved uh, within one hour. So that was a good thing. And um, uh, after that, uh, after uh, two hours, uh, the medical team came and they checked us and everything was good. Um, then uh, we were served the snacks and we had them and then there was a uh, football playground. Children were, play were playing, we went there, we played. And after that, uh, we, we went to see the uh, exquisite view of sunset. And uh, then, uh, then came the night, uh, and uh, that was the funniest uh, night of our track. And uh, uh, after having dinner, we played all the games, uh, playing from uh, cards to having friendly clothes, uh, friendly sleeping bag, sleeping bag fight. And we slept around uh, 11.30. Uh, the, then came the morning and what lies was our next destination that was Tepagadu. Uh, it was 14 kilometers from the Naduvattam and it was on the downhill side. Downhill side of the Naduvattam. And the Tepagadu is uh, located in Madhumalai Tiger Reserve which is known for its wildlife. And in the route to that, uh, uh, in the route to that uh, track we, uh, we encountered we encountered many such beautiful views and uh, of tea gardens and mountain. So it was good part and then uh, we, we saw some uh, ladies who were trimming down the old leaves from the tea garden. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, since it was uh, on downhill side, so we were uh, tracking on the uh, very steep terrain. So all the pressure was coming on our toes and we were uh, like getting tired very uh, uh, easily. The next came uh, this our part when we uh, there was a uh, pond after one hour we uh, reached there and there was one pond. Uh, we uh, we went there, we clicked pictures and uh, had black tea. On the on this uh, on this route, uh, this was the uh, one moment that I want to highlight that uh, one of my friend uh, who had uh, taken uh, who carried the stick with him and after in the way he saw the trees being cut and he got very emotional and he said to our tree and said hey lakdi it was like he, <laughs> what 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 all we are doing with trees be after that they it gives us so much and we cut down them so this was the uh, thing and uh, uh, this shows his uh, the nature lovers part and next comes this uh, this view. 
this is the very beautiful guru and after seeing this all i want to say is that kuch safar manzil se bhi suhane hote hain kuch safar manzil se bhi suhane hote hain jahan raah mein pal pal in fizaon se fasane hote hain next part of the track will be continued by good afternoon sir good afternoon ma'am as we tra travel for 4 and 5 4 5 kilometers we came across this lush green thai shola thai as they call thai shola as they call them locally thai means tea and shola is mountain tropical forest stunted mountain tropical forest we inquired about the as we inquired about the these thai sholas and the forest guard told us that these tree plantation was started by britishers uh, in uh, at the turn of 19th century there and these uh, oak these are the, the silver oak trees all around the sholas and the oak trees are used for the shed purpose because the because of the unique leaves they have they are able to filter sunlight effectively and provide shading during the dry months as we traveled further we came across this hill and the guard told us that they locally call it frog hill because of because of its shape and at the top they have a beautiful view point and it's a popular tourist attraction as we traveled further for about half our distance about 8 kilometers there was we found road way and there was a shop there and we halted there for a while after as we traveled further we entered a forest and at the entrance we came across this forest shed where we halted for the lunch and in the lunch we had mm, paratha with aloo bhindi ki sabzi and lemon rice after finishing our lunch we traveled further we were traveling through the forest and we came across this lady and we were inquiring about the people there with the forest guards and the unique fact he told about that place is that there are some people of the community having origin of chinese tamil they are the origin of chinese tamil and he was not able to communicate further but we googled it as we reached our next destination we found that during the opium wars of 1850 60s between british and chinese the chinese prisoners were shipped and were kept in the jails of nadu attam and these prisoners when released from the jail they stayed there settled there and married with local <coughs> Parian women, Tamil Parian women, and their descendants are still there. The strain of Chinese Tamil origin is still there in some communities there. This photograph is from the late night there. We reached when we reached our next next destination. After the lunch, after finishing our lunch, we travelled further into as we were travelling through the forest. We came across these uh, blueberries plants. Some. and some of these cardamom cardamom plants forest guard told us that these are called true cardamom or green cardamom and these are seed pods of that cardamom and these seed pods are dried and then the seed inside are used as cuisines and in various cuisines as we already know as we uh, traveled further we came across these uh, coffee plants and the guard told us that these uh, white flowers are of arabica coffee plant and these coffee beans some and he told us that these blooming flowers are indicative of the fact that in a month they will be giving coffee beans and we found some cool coffee beans also lying there in the path after traveling for 2 3 kilometers into the forest we came to the pick point where bakel was waiting for us to pick up and we took a sigh of relief after traveling all through the day and after the we got into the vehicle and we traveled for 2 kilometers on the way to on our way to tepakadu we saw
saw these uh, creatures. We saw these um, uh, spotted deer. We saw and we saw these peacock. We saw Indian peacock, Indian elephant. We saw these uh, uh, macaque, locally called as jati, and we also saw um, these bison as we were told by the forest guard. We reached our next destination at around um, two from there, and our next destination will be covered by Rahul and Pasu. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sirs. I am Rahul Gupta. Uh, uh, I will be talking about uh, Thepakadu to Swallow Trek. Uh, we reached Thepakadu uh, around 2 2 30, and uh, it was uh, uh, the area uh, was in forest reserve. It was surrounded by many wild lights. So it was a very, uh, uh, this day was very good accommodation provided was uh, very good. Uh, uh, from uh, there uh, initially we, we got fresh and uh, then we were told that uh, there were some uh, elephant feeding will be going on across the road, which can be seen from our uh, accommodation also. So we have seen through um, across the road those uh, elephant feeding. Many people were coming with their elephants, and uh, they were uh, elephant got fed there. And uh, in the evening, uh, many deer and uh, sambar were grazing around the uh, rooms. And uh, I remember me, uh, 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 me and Pasi were uh, watching them, and Pasi started uh, this game where he 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 named some of the deers. Chinky Minky and started calling them. Uh, that was very funny moment and uh, uh, it was good. Then uh, in the night we played some card. Uh, then after that we slept off. Uh, there were two, room, two rooms. One room was, was with uh, net and other other one was uh, without net. So Mahinder was sleeping in one of the rooms. Uh, it was not there. And uh, in the night uh, one cat. Came into came through the window and slept on his bed. <laughs> so uh, that was uh, very funny when he, <laughs> he cried about it in the morning. <laughs> uh, now about the food, uh, the uh, there was one restaurant uh, which was uh, um, managed by the tribal people of the Tamil Nadu. So uh, the food was. Uh, in the night when they prepared North Indian food, that was not uh, up to the standard. So we actually asked them, uh, they, uh, we asked the uh, Dr. Raja to ask them to change the menu to South Indian food only, so that uh, it can be cooked well and we can have them. So in the morning they prepared South Indian food which was uh, okay, which was good. But there was some issue with the water also. Dr. Raja was not uh, initially not uh, agreeing to provide uh, filtered water uh, as we already confirmed with our uh, uh, previous group that they, they felt sick uh, because of those uh, water. So we, we finally uh, asked him to arrange uh, filter water and he, uh, 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 then uh, we had to wait for three hours to, for them to get us the filter water. That was a bit, bit tricky part. And after that in the morning we tracked through a jeep through vehicle uh, uh, to cross the, these uh, wild uh, wild reserve. After that, we reached the temple, uh, Bokhavaram uh, temple, uh, where Virpan used to come uh, uh, in his days. From there, we started trekking. As the as we already knew that the trek of trek to Salur was very steep and it would it, it could be tough, as told by Tiruputtaya sir. So we we had. Uh, this uh, uh, we strong will power that we will we will be doing this one. Uh, initially, the trek was uh, uh, initially the uh, area was very dry. The uh, sun was rising, and we had to uh, take rest uh, very uh, very regularly. So, uh, uh, but anyhow, we started trekking, and from here on, possible take. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sirs, and my dear fellows. So, as my friend Rahul mentioned, we had already four kilometer of the day track, and we were very tired and exhausted, and uh, we needed to take rest. So, we found a stream 
which is uh, very chilly, gentle and soothing and temperature was also low there so it was very uh, good place to rest. So our uh, GL also managed to bring snacks and energy drinks that we had there and uh, we were rested there for 40, uh, 20 minutes and we took a lot of photographs and uh, the place was very cool, it means the nature was so green and flora fauna was also good there. And after 20 minutes we started our ascending uh, uh, trekking and it was upward only, no plane, no resting at all. And after trekking for 10 minutes we again uh, get back our the old tiredness which had already with interest. So on the way we spotted excreta ex of elephants, tigers and deers and uh, the path was very narrow, even one step of one misstep and you fall down 100 feet. That was very scary and uh, we were also excited about it. And also while trekking, the, as Tirupadaya sir already has told us that it was the toughest path, toughest uh, path. So I was the weakest one. So my luggage was again carried by my team members and uh, I took help of a stick to cover it. And uh, in the way we enjoyed a lot of songs like Tamil songs, our STF guys were loving it. Like one song is Malam Pitha Pitha De from Movie Beast and other, other one is Rowdy Baby from Mari too. And uh, there are many learnings from the trek, uh, but sir, two are my favorites. The first is uh, whenever a guide say on a trek that uh, only one kilometer is left, by default you took it as two kilometers. And uh, one other thing is in Tamil, uh, Tamil Teriya too. So after reaching uh, Solur, we had our lunch. Now my friend uh, Rajat will continue. Welcome, uh, ma'am. Welcome, sir. Uh, as Pasi said, that uh, the trek to Solur was very mentally challenging. And uh, this is what I learned that uh, in these physically and mentally challenging situations, uh, they challenge you and. Uh, in these situations, you are judged with how you help your team members and uh, work out a better strategy to reach to your goal. So after completely completing the strenuous trek, uh, we were all exhausted, all drained, and then we, uh, when we reached to the Solo camp, uh, the arrangement over there was very good, and uh, thus all our uh, tiredness, all our fatigue was, uh, all our fatigue went away. We had an appetizing lunch over there. To our surprise, we got to know that a shooting of film is going on over there. Uh, just two to three kilometers away from our uh, Sholur camp near a viewpoint. Uh, and to add to our surprise, we got to know that uh, the Tamil superstar Dhanush is starring in the movie. So we straight away got ready to uh, meet him. We didn't wait even for the medical team. We wanted to meet him. So uh, we went there. We were taken to the spot in the bus. Uh, there uh, the film crew helped us to get in. To, uh, they allowed us to enter. We got a close look at the shooting going on. Also, the, we were taken aback by the uh, breathtaking scenes, landscape over there at the viewpoint. We have shared some photos of that also in the next slide. So, uh, after a few minutes, uh, after a few minutes, when uh, Dhanush completed his schedule, he, and while he was coming back, he met us, he shook hands with us. Although we were not able to take photos with him due to some uh, confidentiality issues, but uh, it was a very, very uh, amazing experience. And it was totally unscripted in our uh, trek schedule. It came to us as a surprise. So in the evening when we went back to our uh, stay, we were served with uh, soup, snacks and tea. And uh, that was very good. And uh, on our request, the YSI people over there arranged a small uh, uh, bonfire for us. It gave us a chance to uh, uh, have a good time, quality time with our friends. We danced uh, to songs. We uh, shared some stories among uh, ourselves. It was a very good time. Then uh, at the night, we were served with a mouth-watering uh, dinner, which was the best uh, in the trek. Uh, I still remember that uh, gulab jamun over there, <laughs> sweet gulab jamun. So next morning, we again started. We, we, took, we got our bag lunches and we started for our trek. Uh, the trek went through the exquisite farms of uh, potato, cauliflower, carrot, zucchini, and the ever mesmerizing tea gardens. Also walking through the shadows of silver oak trees, added to our beautiful experience. Uh, then we took a halt after one and a half, uh, half hour. We took a halt at the famous Bombay Burma Tea Factory. And uh, after the halt, we again continued. And from here on, I will call Chirag to take over. 
good afternoon sir good afternoon ma'am good afternoon my fellow team after the whole we started again thinking that the track will be going like this only on the pakka road and with the low gradient but uh, soon we entered the forest area and uh, there was a steep hill but after the sholu track uh, uh, no slope was looking uh, hard for us we climbed the hill we took a rest there forest guards arranged some black tea uh, the black tea was uh, so flavorful and tasty that uh, none of us had tasted that before it was uh, it was really good and uh, it uh, it uh, and uh, all our tiredness and exhaustion went away we started again and uh, after that uh, soon after that we entered a sauna uh, it was a very scenic view where we also uh, encountered a herd of sheep and uh, and uh, we stayed there it uh, the location was very beautiful the panoramic view was uh, was something like a movie a movie scene which we generally see in movies and uh, we stayed there for a while captured the beauty in our hearts and uh, then started again and uh, soon after crossing the grassland walking for a kilometer uh, we our forest guards changed there and uh, it was almost the halfway of the track and uh, we we were uh, a little behind the schedule so we picked up the pace from there around uh, around 1 pm walking through the forest area we had lunch uh, in the uh, somewhere along the road side in the shade of a tree because we were so famished and uh, uh, tired that uh, that the uh, cold parathas and rice was tasting like a delicious meal uh, all the roads were passing through the forest area with the tall pine trees uh, shola patches Uh, on the way we also see the eucalyptus pla eucalyptus plantations and rhododendrons and uh, soon after that uh, we we reached the trekking shed around 2 pm uh, on the way we encountered some of the wildlife like uh, langurs wild dogs uh, guards were telling us that uh, there are uh, tigers and leopards spotted in the area but we were not lucky enough to spot them good afternoon ma'am good afternoon sir i am kumar and i will cover from पार्थन वैली टू मुकुट्टी डैम तो पार्थन वैली में उधर से जब सर हम चले तो हमने टाइगर के पद चिन्ह देखे जो कि तुरंत ही ऐसे लग रहा था जैसे सुबह ही वो मूव करके गया और उसके बाद हम लोग बहुत ही देवदार के घने जंगलों में गए वो काफ़ी टफ रास्ता था उसके बाद हम लोग एक अर्धन डैम देखा और उसके बाद हम लोग ने मुकुट्टी डैम जो कि एक आर्च डैम था वहाँ पर हमने फोटो सेशन किया और उसके बाद हमने लंच करके बस में बोर्डिंग की समय के अभाव में हम आयुष कंटिन्यू करेंगे आफ्टर वी रीच मुकुटी डैम वी केम बैक टू ऊटी वेर वी हैड टू टू द होटल एंड लेटर द इवनिंग वी हैड डीप ब्रीफिंग सेशन so uh, where uh, all the uh, medical staff and stf guys and yhai people were felicitated uh, from mcr hrd side then uh, we shared our experience as well then uh, the next day we stayed there then next day it, uh, it was planned that we would visit the dssc defense service staff college which is uh, one of the prestigious college and in the evening we visited uti uh, where we had uh, visited uh, dodabetta peak and uh, uti we also known as uh, uh, is known as the queen, uh, queen of hill station many movies have been shot here like kuch kuch hota hai curse and all then uh, in the evening uh, uh, after visiting the roda petta peak we went for the uti lake but we were un unfortunately uh, uh, late by few minutes so we couldn't do the boat ride and i uh, rec recognized that this lake was uh, also shown in a uh, movie called just married then uh, later we we uh, uh, visited the chocolate factory and uh, we bought a lot many chocolate as stevpatiya sir had told us about uh, homemade chocolates and also chocolate uh, chocolate tea as well and uh, it is also known for uh, uh, various fragrance oils and uh, tea various kind of uh, teas uh, all of us the group member bought a lot of tea and uh, also couriered them uh, like to play a 50 second video 5 days sunrise in 50 seconds <laughs>
I'd like to conclude that uh, uh, that trek has been uh, literally and as well as metaphor metaphorically the high point of our uh, FC, and uh, uh, we we were cut off from uh, for a uh, uh, few days that we were cut off from digital um, uh, social media. We had a digital detox, and uh, we uh, played a lot of games. That's why we came uh, interacted with each other a lot. We played a lot of games, dumb charades. We came to know about the acting skills of various uh, various people, especially Mahindra, and uh, we had a lot of jokes, internal jokes, and uh, which we would cherish uh, throughout our life. And uh, the objective of this trek, that uh, building of cam camaraderie and uh, uh, that uh, helping and motivating each other, it was uh, very much seen in our group because uh, many uh, we always shared the load uh, when people were lacking behind. We, we would share their load. We would keep motivating them. Uh, just one uh, kilometer uh, left, just like that, and uh, it was all possible because of the forester people. We we also knew that uh, they are uh, always with us. Uh, say uh, with the guns, uh, we had uh, encounter with bison as well. Uh, so, but we were we knew that uh, they are with us, though we were safe. So, I would like to say that uh, uh, our uh, endurance level was tested. Uh, we we pushed our limits, and thanks. Uh, all to Rana sir, his PT lesson because many a times we would misstep and our ankle would bend, but it didn't convert into sprint because the flexibility was increased because of the PT session. So I would like to say what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, and that's how uh, we would like to uh, we uh, ended the trick and we can see that all happy and content smile on our faces. Thank you. <laughs>